Hey everybody, J.R. Fisher here, and I want to talk to you about Facebook ads. I just got off the phone with a guy, and he works with a very large insurance company, and they started running ads, and they're not getting good results. I mean, really not getting good results. And what they did is they did some lead ads, and he couldn't understand why it wasn't working. And, and basically, he ran this lead ad where somebody would click to call, and that was supposed to make their company call these people. And when they called these people, they didn't want to talk to them. They were like, well, I don't, even know, who, well, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who you are. And he knew and they knew that they had clicked on it. So why does that happen? Well, I'm going to tell you why it happens in just a second. But first, I want to show you what you're going to see inside Facebook that's going to scare the crap out of you. Let me get this thing straight here. There we go. I think that's good. Okay, so when you get in there, you're going to see a whole lot of stuff. And that's the bad news. Now, here's the really, really, really good news. The good news is you don't have to worry about 99% of it. Don't even have to worry about it. So what I want to do is go through each section for you because the number one question I get is, what kind of ad do I do? I don't know. There's so much in there, JR. All right, so let's, let's check it out first. When you get in there, you're going to have three categories. and Your, your ad is going to look like this. When you go in there and you say, I want to do an ad, it's going to first say awareness. Now, under awareness, there are two categories. And the first category is brand awareness. Now, understand that if you want to make people aware of your brand, your Coca-Cola, your Ford, your Chevrolet, this is the one you would use. You're not going to get any interaction. You're not going to have anybody buy anything from you. They're not going to opt in to anything. They're just going to go, hmm, J.R. Fisher exists. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right here and now, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about this one right here. Not necessary. The next one that you're going to see under um, this awareness is reach. Now, what does reach mean? Reach means that for the lowest cost, Facebook's going to send your ad out to tons of people. It's going to be all over there, all over the place. Okay, so what? Will they buy from me? No. Will they opt in? No. Will they give me their email? No. They won't do any of that. So we don't really have to worry about reach. Not necessary. Then we're going to come to this middle column here, and this is called consideration. Mm, okay, so let's see what consideration is. The first one you can do is you can optimize for traffic. Now, what does that mean? That means that Facebook is going to send you a whole bunch of traffic. Yay, a whole bunch of traffic. And you say to yourself, well, that's the one I want, because if I get a whole lot of traffic, a bunch of people will buy from me. No, that's not how it works. What happens is, Facebook is going to send you a bunch of traffic. They're going to send you people who just like to click on stuff and go places. That's it. They're not known for buying. They're not known for opting in. They're not known for any of that. They're just known for traffic. Okay, so they're just going to go there. Thank you for posting that, Jessica. I appreciate it. There's a little link there, guys, if you want more information. My shameless plug is up there, too. Um, that's my inner circle. You get access to a bunch of my courses and training, and it's a, it's a really cool group of people. But you can check that out later. So... My first one here is traffic. Do I want traffic? Well, yeah, I mean, technically I do, but if it's not going to be traffic that's going to buy from me or opt in or give me their email or do anything, do I really want that traffic? Is that what I want to buy? The answer is no. All right, now the next one, this next one's kind of tricky. This next one is called engagement. Now, what does engagement mean? Engagement is people who are going to click on your ads, people who are going to like your stuff, people who may comment on there. And, you know, technically, those people aren't going to buy from you. But what we've done is we've devised a way to actually use this type of ad to our advantage. And what we do, and that's another training I have, but what we do with engagement ads is we'll get like 10 pictures for our advertisement, and we'll have the same text, and we'll send it to engagement, but not to the country we're trying to sell in, because we try to sell in the U.S., Canada, Australia, and the U.K., and that would be really expensive. But what we do with this one here is we actually do an engagement campaign to see which picture is going to get the most engagement. In other words, which picture gets people's interest the most. And then we send it to Pakistan, India, and the Philippines. Why? Because I can get clicks for .00004 cents. 
They're just super cheap. And what it allows me to do here is to see which one of my images is good. And then we're going to turn it into our ad that we actually want to make money off of. So I'm going to put a little star by this one. Okay. The next one is app installs. Now, if you're an app developer or you want to get people to get your apps, great. This would be the one I guess you would use to get people to install your apps. We don't do that. We sell stuff. We sell information. We sell physical products. So apps is not good for us. Now, here's a real tricky one. Video views. People say, yeah, I want a lot of people to watch my video. That's what I want. I want tons of people watching my video all the time. But to what end? Just so that people watch your video, right? I mean, don't you want people to buy from you or engage with you or do something at some point? Because these people here that Facebook is going to send to you, guess what they're going to do? They're going to watch your video. And you'll get a lot of video views. And you say, well, JR, if I get a lot of video views, somebody's probably going to buy from me. No, it doesn't work that way. What Facebook does is they look for people who just watch a lot of videos. Will some of those people buy from you? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. But all they do is go out there and go, these people are known for watching a lot of videos. Now, some people will sit in their house all day long and just watch videos. And that's who you're going to end up with. So, you know, it may make you feel good because you got a lot of views on your video, but it was just from people who like to watch videos. So we're not going to do that one either. Now, here's the tricky one. This is the real tricky one. Lead generation. Let me get over here where you can see this one. The company that I was just talking to did lead generation. And the problem with lead generation is it's easy to do. And what I mean by that is in Facebook, you can create a lead ad really simple and people just click and their emails already populated and the name, all that good stuff. They just click and boom, you got a lead. The problem is, are these people really interested in what you have? I found that if I want to do lead generation, I would rather send them to a sales page that I have, my own lead generation page that explains my entire offer to them and what I have or what I want to give them or whatever. And then if they opt in, they're going to know what they're getting. Here, it's just a lot of people who are going to click and put in their information. And that's what happened to that insurance agency. They were trying to get these people who had lower income, who trying to get on Medicaid or whatever, and they were getting a lot of people that were opting in as a lead, but then didn't want to talk to them, didn't want to do anything. So I don't like this lead generation. If you want to do lead generation, you need to build a page, build your own form, have some information there. So we're going to get rid of lead generation. Now, if you want to talk to people, this is your next one right here. Messages. If you optimize for messages, guess what you'll get? Messages. Okay, so if you're still trying to sell a product or get some opt-ins and get some emails, this would not be the way to go. Okay, we've narrowed this down so far. Okay, so now we're at our last category here. And our last category really is just two things, even though there's three things listed when you log into your account. And the first thing here is conversions. Okay, this is your conversion type of ads. Now, what do conversions mean? Conversions mean that you're trying to get somebody to take some action okay so they're going to either opt in and give you their email and go to another page that's where we're going to use our conversion code and we can talk about that in another video or they're going to buy your product okay or they're going to do your download or whatever it is so that's a conversion and this is the one we use a lot in conjunction with this one once we figure out what picture works then we want to go ahead and run ads for people who are going to convert and we want to run that to the country we sell in which is the US, Canada, Australia, and the UK. So we run conversion ads. Conversion ads, what Facebook's gonna do is it's gonna try to optimize people to buy from you, okay? So if somebody comes to your page and they buy your product and they end up at your thank you page, it's gonna trigger that conversion code. And when it triggers the conversion code, Facebook's gonna go, oh, that's what the guy wanted. Let me go see if I can find more people that look like that person that just did that thing, okay? Whether it's an opt-in, whether it's buying your product, no matter what it is, Facebook is going to look through all their data and say, we want more people who just did what that person did and they bought this product. So that's what we want. Now, guess what? These cost more. <laughs> I mean, they just do. They cost more money to get a conversion, right, than it does to just get a lead or something along those lines or to get people to watch your videos. That's pretty cheap because Facebook knows this. It's not valuable to you. If somebody watches a lot of videos or does a lot of video views, it's going to stroke your ego, but it's not going to make you any money. 
they know that a conversion you're gonna get somebody's information or they're gonna buy a product from you and they can charge you for that because that's super value valuable now the next one on here is catalog sales okay and catalog sales is when you're gonna actually hook your store into Facebook and you're gonna send them to your store and hopefully get some sales we don't use this one we don't use the catalog thing because we like to focus on one single product and then upsell them to other products or get them to buy multiples of that product so we don't do catalog sales and the next one is if you've hooked your store into Facebook they can send you a lot of traffic to your store and you say well that's what I want I want a lot of traffic so people buy stuff and no it doesn't work that way they're just gonna send you people who like to go to these places and look around that's it now could some of them be a buyer I guess not enough of them to make that profitable okay look what we've done we've really narrowed this down today haven't we so you're all confused you log in you saw all these things to do and as it turns out unless you're coca-cola you know or Nike or something like that you don't need to be in this category here and you don't really care about consideration because this is just kind of stroking your ego right uh, outside of engagement to test one of your images so we're left with conversions over here and you want the top one right here that's going to get them to buy now I hope that makes it a little bit easier because I know when I first logged in I saw this I was like what am I supposed to do with all I don't even know I mean it sounds like traffic's what I want it's not okay well what sounds like I want people to watch a lot of my videos it wasn't it was none of that it was conversions and I didn't do these in the beginning because they were so expensive mmm that should have been that should have been uh, something that I noticed if it's more expensive maybe it has more value I hope this helps you out. If you want to get more information, you can check out my website. You can like this video, put a comment or something on there. I would really appreciate if you put comments in there. Um, if you're watching this video later, um, the comments kind of help it get a little bit more viral. So if you would type that right there, uh, that bit.ly forward slash jr dash ic, that is my inner circle. Great group of people. If you want to join it, you can go there and watch and you don't have to opt in. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to give up your email, credit card, nothing. There's a free video there that tells you all about it. So check that out. Also put it in the comments there. And I really appreciate you watching. Now, if you're watching this video a week later or two weeks later, and, you know, it's like, uh, he's never going to see my comment. It's not going to happen. I mean, because he did this video a month ago or a week ago. I will see your comment. Because what they do is they notify me when you put a comment there. So I appreciate your comments. If you like this, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. If you want something different, put that in the comments too. And I'd love to help you out and I will answer you. So make sure you do that. Thanks a lot for listening and I'll talk to you real soon. Yeah.